Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of Chameleon Craft. I am here on the server and a lot has changed since we were last on. Farms have popped up everywhere which is awesome. Um, I need to actually start gathering some resources because I don't really ha have much food. I'm living off rotten flesh at the moment. So I'll uh, gather and talk. So yeah, a lot's happened since last episode. I think I didn't always say that because stuff always does happen. But uh, one of the main things is a new feature that I added um, which was... Um, it's used on Hermitcraft and it's a really good feature. I think all servers should have it. And basically, if you look up to the sky, there's a black box and it's made of bedrock. And what that does is it's full of command blocks and redstone and stuff like that. And basically, you see, right now we've got two people on the server, me and uh, the you freaky. And then if I lay down in the bed, lay down, what am I saying like that? If I sleep in the bed, you'll see that it'll actually change the day without him having to sleep as well, like that, which is really cool, which is a really awesome feature, um, not really GT at all, um, really useful really, um, but we have uh, we have the sheep here, my little pink sheep is still in there, which is good, and cat some carrots as well, I have actually found a new place for my base, um, my new base setup, it's a bit different to usual, usually I just choose like really insane terrain, uh, which I've done in like the past uh, past two series, like my first series was in the mountains, a uh, pretty big mountains actually, and then um, after that I kind of lived in a weird bowl and did a really weird base. But oh, I'm getting massive lag spikes. But uh, this time I kind of want to keep things simple, and I found a nice little uh, area, which is quite nice, quite big and open, quite flat as well, not much terrain, uh, which is quite nice, bit kind of normal. And I'm gonna go show you that, and then what I was gonna do originally today was build, I was going to build a big circle for spawn to be in, but I came to spawn and someone's already built a big circle. And I'm not sure what they want to do, I'm not sure if they're going to build anything inside. Um, okay, I'm going to ask around on the chat and stuff like that and see uh, what's happening. But uh, my plan was to build a big circle and fill it kind of with half slabs and do kind of a cool pattern. And then add a, a, the, uh, the spawn nether portal in. Uh, people already have some portals around which may slightly mess up the spawn point, but I'll have to uh, like start figuring that out. and. Maybe move some portals around in the nether and whatnot. Um, but my idea was to not have the portal out in the open. Rather have it actually kind of dug underground. So we're going to do a big circle, do a nice pattern. And starting about, I'd say here, have a staircase going down. It's so like an underground room. Um, and have the portal under there. Because then it kind of keeps it nice and tidy. And uh, you don't have a random object in the way. Because everything's quite flat at the moment, which is quite nice. Um, we have the cave, which is still doing good. We farm's pretty good. Uh, we have some bases that are popping up already, and we have one over there. I haven't actually checked it out. It's a little hobbit hole. Um, we have. Are there any others around? We have one over here. Somewhere over there. Yep, yeah, there's a portal over there. And then there is one right by my base as well. Um, so, yeah, I'll actually show you uh, my new my new little base. So, currently, the only real way to actually get to my base is uh, via a boat because there's a huge kind of. I'm not sure if this is an ocean or not. What is it? Yeah, it is an ocean. Uh, there's a huge ocean in the way. Uh, spawn is over in that direction. Oh, it's a big sugarcane farm on the coast. Uh, but this is it here. You can see there's little, some little fences over here. But it's really, really flat, which I really like. Um, this does sort of remind me of like my old single player was that I used to do. Where you should literally just build where you where you are spawned. That is not mine. That is my neighbour over there. He's building, uh, I think they're farms. I'm not quite sure what they are, actually. But here we go. This is, um, this is my little base. Uh, this was a big forest, but I did clear all the wood. So I've got a... Uh, Oh, I'm going to crash. Oh, I'm good. Yeah, but I did clear all the wood, so I'm pretty much stocked on wood right now. Got a little farm, a little basic farm set up. Uh, I made a kind of a cow pen, um, but I built it around where my starter base was. So I'm actually currently living with the animals at the moment. Um, but I really like this, because that's natural there. I kind of like left some of the trees and planted some new ones, and it kind of looks quite, quite natural, really, rather than being kind of industrial, which I might try and go for this series, rather than having random industrial things. Um, but this is uh, this is my base area, which I'm planning to build in, and I like this because it's flat, and we've got kind of a slight, very sl slight gradual wall around it, which makes us kind of feel slightly kind of more cosy and tucked in. And I was thinking of building a not just a simple tiny house or another ground base. I wanted to build a big kind of mansion, a really big mansion where you you go in and there are different rooms that you have to. Do. It's not just you go in and it's storage room or go in storage room farms enchanting table. I wanted it to be really cool and I'm not sure what style to go for yet because I've been seeing loads of things on the Minecraft forums of like 
really cool mansions or modern mansions where you go in and there's like a hallway then you go there's a kitchen and then there's like a really cool like staircase going up to the top or something and I really want to build it in this kind of this area here so basically the, the that would be my house and then kind of you look down and this will like be my land and I probably have like farms and then uh, random stuff as well like buildings like dog panels and things like that panels kennels how do I get panels from what's that missing is that no is that normal can't tell uh, yeah, but um, I'll be interesting to know actually what people think. So I'll ask around and uh, I like what kind of build style I've, I've had to do. I've never done mod uh, modern. Pro actually, to be quite honest, I don't think I'll do modern because it won't really fit in. Because I'm quite, I'm, I'm all right at building like kind of natural things out of wood, but when it gets to modern out of clay and wool and stuff, I can't do that at all. But this is what I've got so far. Pretty normal, basic stuff. Quite a bit of iron actually already. Normal stuff. We've got in there some smooth stone and some more iron. Smooth stone will be for the pattern thing. If I uh, am allowed to do it, I need to ask some people actually. Because I think it was Callum. Someone said Callum built it. So um, I'll have to see and ask him. But if not, I might get on and do it. I'm not too sure. I don't want to kind of get in the way. Oh, well, uh, well I'll see you. Actually, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, the boat is the only way of transportation at the moment. I'll set up nether portal when I get diamonds. Um, or I might make some kind of underground rail system. Like through the water. Which might look pretty cool. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's it. On the old server, I really wanted to make a train station where basically you have points of de oh, points of destination like you can choose from and then go to it. Uh, so you've got like one platform. You get in the minecart, click whatever destination you want to go to, and then it'll like automatically do it for you. That again was from Exuma, like the uh, the sleepy bed clock bedrock thing. Um, he's like my favorite YouTuber at the moment. So that is quite cool. I might do that. I don't know if anyone would be actually up for that because nether portals are just like the easiest way to get around in this game and kind of minecarts are a bit redundant. And I did remember Andrew did say to me um, that he would like people to use horses a lot more and have horses as like a mode of transport, a very horsey season. So that's something I could do as well, like a horse stable. Might get into a bit more horse breeding as well. But um, yeah, that's kind of like the intro rambling stuff done. So I'll see you back at spawn when we might be building this circle thing. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I spoke to Callum and he said it's alright for me to uh, do some stuff with uh, with this. So I'm going to get on and do that and I've got some block types I want to use. I'm going to use three types of slabs. I'm going to use cobblestone, half uh, stone slabs and stone brick slabs. I basically do a pattern. Never done this before so I've got absolutely no idea what's going to happen. Oh, and we're probably going to get absolutely obliterated by zombies so I'm going to quickly sleep. Yeah, so I've never done this before. Like, I've never done a pattern floor design thing before so this will be interesting. I think I'm just going to wing it and uh, hope for the best. But it shouldn't be too bad if I just kind of place blocks and that, that you feel like are in a good place. Um, so I'm going to place down all the blocks first and see what the pattern looks like. And then I'll add the tunnel going down into the uh, portal room. I don't actually have any materials to build the portal with yet so I'm going to kind of, have to kind of hollow out an area for it to go in uh, but yeah I'll get started on the floor design and then I'll get back to you with little progress updates or maybe when I finish the entire thing all right so I have finished the floor design and I think I like it for a first attempt it's not bad I did run out of materials a few times and I had to go mining get some stone and whatnot but here it is boom there it is Woo! I didn't actually turn far enough that really ruined it so this is it. Um, I kind of like it. Um, it's quite nice. I'm not so sure on this though, but yeah, I'm very happy with it. It's uh, a torch under there. You can just pass, you can't actually see it. It's next to the dirt, and then there is a cobblestone fence on top of that, and that is down two and a half blocks. And because the um, fence post is actually technically one and a half blocks, you don't dip down when walking over it. But I'm possibly thinking of putting something over that. Maybe some grey wool or something but for the time being that's quite nice <gasps> actually what I could do right here let's try it right now actually let's make a pressure plate can I oh can you not do it on stone oh that sucks do I have any wood I've only got balls okay I'll have a go with doing that with um putting a um putting down a normal wooden fence and then I'll put a uh, pressure plate on top of that. I'll do that later. But this is where I'm planning on having my um, staircase going down into the portal room. I'm probably going to do the staircase literally just out of stone bricks. Uh, rather than copying the pattern. I mean, I suppose I could. But the problem is with these blocks, you can't, you don't have them as stairs. So that will suck a little bit. So I'll just do um, normal uh, 
stone bricks going down there, maybe with cobblestone like randomly, and then it'll go down into a kind of a wider open area room, probably a circle again, but a smaller circle, uh, and then the portal will be at the back of the room, so I'll get on and do that, and I'll see you in a minute. I am probably the luckiest person on the server right now, mainly because I was worried about hollering out this entire room, went down, and realised there's a huge cave, like cavern here, so all I've got to do is break through this wall, break down a few other blocks, and then I've basically got my room, and then I've just got to decorate it, which is weirdly extremely handy, and like, the most perfect cave ever. Damn, you gotta love it when your parents call your name halfway through recording. But yeah, I was saying it's uh, probably the most perfect cave that could ever be in the way of me building. You always get caves that just kind of just get in the way and like, you, you know, you build something really cool. Oh, damn it, it's a cave in the way. You've got to like, light it all up and stuff, which I will still need to do. But it looks like no one's actually been down here. It looks like they kind of tried to explore it, then gave up, then covered it up. But this is really nice, really nice cave. So uh, definitely uh, some good luck on the server today. Also, after that amazing voice crack at the end, I've uh, replaced the um, fences with wooden fences and put a stone brush plate over it. It definitely looks a, m a lot nicer. However, it does still look a bit weird with the indented floor, but it's just kind of a pattern, really, and it, it, it definitely, definitely does feel weird going over it, I'll tell you that. But uh, I do prefer it, and if anyone wants to change that, feel free to in the future. Okie dokie, so I've finished the tunnel and the nether portal room only slightly. I haven't completely done it yet, but this is the staircase going down. Obviously, I haven't made it pretty, -ish, pretty yet because I haven't, actually haven't got enough time. I've got to leave in 15 minutes to go somewhere because um, I'm so popular and busy like that. Um, but yeah, this is what I've got so far. I haven't done the walls yet, but I've done the back, whack, back, whack wall, back wall. Little sign there telling people what this place is, uh, just in case they see it before I upload a video. And um, so I'm going to make the walls pretty cool, give them some kind of pattern. This is where the portal's going to sit. I've just realised I've kind of measured that wrong. Yeah, so the portal will go where these are, so I'll quickly remove these. They they can move and go somewhere else later. Um, but that, that there is where the portal, the colour, the purple portal will actually be, and then the obsidian will be around that. Um, so it'll be like around there, like that, go like that. So it'll be quite a, quite a, quite a nice sized portal. Uh, odd number, of course, because odd numbers are like the best thing to work with. Uh, and I'll add some kind of pattern around the wall as well. But this, I really like this. It's... Um, I've got to say, I'm really happy with it. Um, but yeah, as I said, I've got to go out in 15 minutes, so I'm going to quickly end the episode here. Um, but thank you very much for watching. That definitely wasn't me. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, if you did enjoy, then leave a like down below and comment and stuff like that, and I will see you in, in my next video. Bye! <laughs>